in the United States about five years ago, uh, my co-author Angus Deaton and I were working on one project and we realized looking at the data that there was this extraordinary thing that was happening, happening below the radar, which is that among the white working class in America, and by that we sort of broadly mean people without a uh, university degree, were dying in larger numbers. Um, that's not supposed to happen. Mortality rates are supposed to fall. They're not supposed to go up. And when we dug deeper, we found that the three causes of death were arising most rapidly were suicide, drug overdose, and alcoholic liver disease. Around the world, suicide rates have been falling. In Japan, in France, in Sweden, which are sort of the countries, the wealthy countries that had high uh, suicide rates, but throughout the former Soviet Union as well, suicide rates are falling. But in the US, among white working class people, they were rising. Economists, right, would be trained to think, well, people would kill themselves when the present discounted value of future happiness uh, is outweighed by the costs of, associated with pain or staying alive, right, and that we're making this rational decision to kill ourselves. But going against that are the fact that people are more likely to kill themselves on Mondays. Right? Now, it's hard to believe that the present discounted value of the entire future is that different on a Monday than it is on the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's also the case, which was a surprise to me before I started this work, is that people kill themselves in the summer months. So in Auckland or in Sydney, Australia, uh, uh, people kill themselves in November and December when the sun is shining. And in the Northern Hemisphere, they kill themselves in June and in August or July when the, you know, the same, when the sun is out. So there are things we don't understand. But we think that, um, that going all the way back to Durkheim, who seemed to really understand that people are at risk at times of uh, upheaval and that we are currently in a time of great upheaval when the, the contract between labor and capital has changed and when capital seems to have a lot more power relative to labor than it has in the US in the past. That difference has meant that people are less likely to be able to marry. They don't have a stable home life. They don't have a stable work life. And they've left the churches of their parents. And so these things that used to be pillars, if it works for you, it's great. But if it doesn't work for you, it's really a recipe for suicide.